So there is the new 52 Suicide Squad. And I got the first volume not actually expecting to like it, but I really, really did. I think part of it is because I really enjoyed Harley Quinn, although she was, like, super sexualized, like, whoa. And I could would have done without that, or at least, like, equal amounts of sexualization, because, like, literally you don't see anything on anybody else, except for Manshark, who doesn't count, because why would he wear clothes? Um, you know, they've got Deadshot, Harley Quinn, oh, there's just the Sportsmaster, Manshark. They've got, like, everybody in here taking turns and stuff, and I actually really enjoyed it. I feel like it was a good plot. I enjoyed the art. I feel like it's, um, it's somewhat stylized, and I really like seeing stylized DC works, because I feel like DC has this generally just, like, one style for everything, and I like to see it be mashed up a little bit. Maybe it's because they have, I don't know, a, one colorist that does everything or something. I am not super fond of the Amanda Waller reboot. Even though I like that she's still a tough lady, I just, I don't know, I guess their whole new 52 of making everyone, like, 20 years younger or something. I also did like Harley Quinn's outfit, although the new 52 reboot has has the, her backstory that the Joker dumped her into a vat of acid, so she has a skin condition, which includes her hair being two different colors, her looking like she's wearing heavy makeup all the time, and her skin being completely white, and I'm just kind of like, okay. They also have Black Spider in here, who is like a murdering vigilante, and Diablo. I actually really like Diablo. He, I don't know, was generally just a criminal until he comes to like get payment, and there are like children in um, a building that he burns down, and then he like just like is like I need mean, resist arrest. I also like how Diablo's powers work. It has something. His Diablo's powers have something to do with his tattoos, and I want to know how that is more specific. Also, there's zombies. Harley Quinn going, zombies? I'm a squeal. I love zombies. Oh, and then there's also Voltac in this issue. She's going there going off to fight zombies, and Diablo goes, Harley, not so far ahead. And Harley's like, relax. I have a giant hammer. Oh, and they're like technological zombies. I thought that was kind of cool. And then there's all kinds of stuff going on. I don't want to ruin the plot, but I want to say it was worth reading. Um, it is a little bit similar to Suicide Squad, if you saw that episode in Arrow with that. Which I did, and I liked. I feel like Deadshot's like a main key part of Suicide Squad. And then they're stealing clothes, and Diablo's like, I thought we were going to be doing good things. And he doesn't kind of get that the whole point of the Suicide Squad is that the government's pardoning bad guys for doing bad things, so they can do bad things for the government. Um, but see, this is kind of what I mean by sexualizing Harley, like, whoa. Like... I just feel like this is a little bit much. Especially if she's saying she has a skin condition. You feel like she would wear more clothes. And then grocery shopping. I thought that was kind of fun. Again, Harley was my favorite and she was great. I also liked Diablo and the Black Spider. They were, besides Deadshot, who I feel like is the main character. I like Harley's makeup that looks like a mask that is her skin deformation. I thought that was interesting. Because it like is like a circle and then it goes down. Oh, okay, so you do need to read Batman... Detective Comics, the first issue before this, and I'm glad I did, because when I read that, I'm like, what is the purpose of this? But it's made later mentioned about how the Joker had the skin of his face cut off. It's not, like, 100% necessary to read Detective Comics before this, but I feel like it's, um, it adds to it. It adds a dimension of you find out what's going on with Gotham before. And she, Harley, like, escapes because of that. And it's super freaky. So freaky. Um, and people keep talking about how the Joker is dead, but I, like, so don't believe that at all. 